What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to these videos brought to you guys by iMobi. This is known as AnyTrans. It is the ultimate way to transfer and, of course, manage your Android device. So, as you guys can see, there are many options to clone your Android to iOS device or Android to Android device. You can also add content to the device directly from your PC. You can also have content to device. You can also check out what files are on your current device. And, of course, you can actually transfer content from your PC. Now, as you guys can see, there's different layouts here. And, of course, as you can see, you can actually choose a category for music, movies, ringtones books photo library contacts and much much more after you go ahead and choose these let's go ahead and maybe choose like books we can actually go and check out all the different books that we have on my zte device which is of course the android i also have an ios ipad connected to this as well and then of course i can go and select that here's something to do with stats you can actually go and uh, go ahead and add here you can also send it to your pc and of course the main option you can actually send it directly to a particular device now we're actually going to jump back here and i'm going to show you guys the main way to do it this is known as the android Mo mover tool so if you're going from android to android or maybe from ios to android it can be a pain to transfer all your data sometimes you have to update it to upgrade it to maybe current software and then of course you have to go through iTunes and sometimes that doesn't even transfer everything you need to transfer or you have to deal with iCloud backups other times you have to deal with Android backups or worse you have to physically go and move everything using like Google Drive or email or something of that sorts all in all it can be a pretty massive pain but what if it wasn't well in this case all you have to do is connect both your devices directly to your computer in this case as I said an iPad and of course an Android device and then you just choose what you want to transfer so let's go ahead and uh, let's say we want to transfer Hmm. In this case, we have our calendar, contacts. I don't want to transfer camera roll just yet. Photo, video, um, and of course, music. So I'm going to go and do that right now. I'm going to go and simply hit the next button. And just like that, it's going to start transferring everything it possibly can directly from the ZTE Axon 7 to, of course, the iPad Air. At the end, it'll tell you exactly what it moved. So in this case, we moved 62 items in total, which is pretty awesome. Now, next off, if I were to jump back, we're just gonna go ahead and check out the last section. And this is a really interesting tool known as the media downloader. So basically you can actually go and insert a random link. Let's go ahead and insert a link to one of my YouTube videos. All right, so here's a random YouTube video of mine. I'm simply gonna go ahead and copy that and I'm gonna paste it into here. Control A, Control V, and we're just going to download that directly from here. How cool is that? It can download just about everything. As you can see, it has Vimeo right here. It's got BBC, Instagram, it has YouTube. So that is pretty amazing to be built directly into this. Unfortunately, the folder I chose doesn't have any space. So instead, I'm going to just download it directly to my phone. We're going to hit download and let's see if this works. Alrighty then, so it has transferred it directly to my ZTE, so all in all, it is probably the most jam-packed uh, transfer software you can find. As I said, there are other options, so we'll quickly go over these options. So you can actually clone a device. Um, you do have to have two Android devices connected for that. So of course, it'll clone one Android directly to the new one. Maybe you're selling it, maybe you're recycling your old Android phone, so on and so forth. You can also add content. That one's pretty straightforward. You can also have content to device. Once again, you need two Android devices, and of course, you can check out your current files. Now, this is really interesting because if you're looking for a file manager directly on your computer and you want to go through, I don't know, your whatever on I don't know let's say like snapchat or something then this is probably a really easy way to do it you can also select a bunch of them and you can have them directly can uh, send all the way to your computer so it really does have everything built directly into it and the UI is really really fast and simple I give it a nice solid 9 out of 10 in terms of usability just about everyone can just jump into this use it transfer their data and uh, who knows maybe use it sometimes every once in a while to download a few videos or music on all guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if so leave a like and don't forget to subscribe Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.